this week, I was in Infineon Raceway for a press conference involving Indy 500 champion Scott Dixon. The hook was that he'd be wood carving, but it was his chainsaw chick teacher who stole the show. <laughs> Yeah, I'm usually three steps ahead. <laughs> Chainsaw carving is just becoming the, f the fad. The fact I'm a girl doing it is really cool. Most of your chainsaw carvers are males. Uh, there are a few other females, but uh, but Cherie does, uh, does draw, draw a crowd, I guess you could say. To understand why Cherie Curry loves wood carving, you need to know the sort of crowds she's used to performing in front of. At the age of 15, I, I joined the Runaways, which was the first all-girl teenage rock group with Joan Jett and Lita Ford. And uh, we were really the first all-girl group to, to really hit it. We came in into the scene when it was just all guys, so it was a battle from the beginning besides the fact that we were teenagers. More than 30 years ago, Cherie and the Runaways bought the establishment, and it was a painstaking process. Even the guys in Rush, they gave us a really hard time. Threw, threw things at us when we were on stage, even though we were at Cobo Hall in front of 16,000 people. And then when they heard our music, by the end of the show, they were, they, they were digging it. I think that's almost why I, I love chainsaw carving so much is because and it's not anything that I consciously decided to do to do something different that men do but it just seems to be what I do you know I just love doing the extraordinary an extraordinary woman who has lived an extraordinary life. The story of the Runaways will soon be told in a major motion picture. Casting is currently underway, and she's in talks regarding a potential reality show. You can try keeping up with her at, and I was serious here, ChainsawChick.com. Oh, that's her. That's her. That's her. That's okay. memorable. Yeah. <laughs> As is her profession. You don't want to cross her. That's right. All right.